Hi, welcome to this short training video on how to process a vendor payment in S3. This video is presented to you by Business Solution Partners. Today I'll show you how to make multiple vendor payments in one single step. I'll show you how to make a single vendor payment. We'll go over the ACH and check payment selections. I'll show you how to print a check from NetSuite. And finally, I'll show you how to look up the status of a vendor payment transaction in NetSuite. To process today's vendor payments, I'm using the AP Analyst role. With this role, I have the ability to process the vendor payments and also print the checks. This may be different for your company. You may have these two functions segregated where one person has the access to process the payment, but a second person has the access to print the check. I will first show you how to process multiple vendor payments. If you go to the Vendors tab and you go down to Account Table and select Pay Bills, I'm getting a quick warning that tells me the data in this page has not been saved yet, and I'm okay with this warning, so I will click OK. What this page shows me is a list of all the vendor payments, all the vendor invoices that are ready for payment. From here, you can select all its bills to mark them to be paid, or you can make multiple selections. If you want to select all bills, you click on this box right to the left of due date. If we check this little box here, this is selecting all the bills that I have pending payment. However, if you click this box, whatever selection you have here, for the to be printed option will apply to this bill. So if you select to be printed, checks will be printed for this payment in the next check run. If you leave it blank or unchecked, checks won't be printed. You have the option of pay via ACH or coming back later and print the check. I'm going to make a few selections today. So I'm going to uncheck this box, and then I'm going to select to pay Mountain Sports and Sports Gear. And I want to print checks for these two payments. So I'm going to check here to be printed. Before it's saved, I just want to show you that the two GL accounts that are being affected by this transaction are the 2000 account payable account. This is where my bills have been posted. And the checking account that these are being paid out of is the 1028 check, uh, checking account. Now I can click Save, and this will mark my two invoices that I have selected here as paid, and checks will be scheduled to be printed. So I'm going to go ahead and say save. I'll open a second screen now to show you how you can print this check. So if you go, if you want to print this check now, you go to financial, the financial tab, down to banking, and then you select print checks and forms. I will select check, and the checking account that I want to print my check from is the one that I used when I was processing the bills earlier, which is 1028. And here you can see the last two bills that I marked for payment. And I could print checks for all these payments, but let's just work with the two that I processed today. I'm selecting those two, and my next check to be printed is 2174. You want to make sure that this is the next check in the check stock that you're putting in the printer. 
Once you have reviewed that and you have placed the blank check in the printer, you can come back here and select print and a PDF form will open which will show you the two checks that you are printing today, 2171 and 2175, sorry, 2174 and 2175. You can from here print and your check will be ready for mailing. I will now show you how to process a single vendor payment. If you go to vendors or the vendors tab, then down to accounts payable and select pay single vendor. This will bring you to the screen where you can make the single bill payment. My next check is 2177. You want to make sure this is the check in your printer. Under payee, you can select the vendor that you want to pay. And I know that Mountain Sports has a lot of invoices open, so I'm going to look them up. Be because this vendor is associated with only one subsidiary, the subsidiary comes up automatically. But if you had multiple subsidiaries, you'll be able to select whichever one you want to pay. The checking account I want to use for this payment is 1028. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the bills that are pending payment for this vendor. I'm going to pay the 11 2014 invoice. I select it, and I want to print my invoice today, or my check rather, so I will check to be printed. And now I can save this payment. If you have access to process the payment and print the payment as well, you can select save and print and do the printing in one step. However, just in case these two functions are segregated, we're going to save this bill payment and later someone else can come in and print the check. I will open a new section of NetSuite so that we can print this check. If we go to financial, banking, print checks and form, you select checks and you select the checking account that you are print printing the checks from, which is 1028. And my first check number to be printed is 2177 which is the one we just processed today. So I'll select that payment and we will print. And again, this creates the PDF form that you can send to your printer where the blank check is waiting. And once printed, your check is ready for mailing. Let me show you how you can find a vendor payment in NetSuite. From any screen, you can go to the search field and type either the invoice number or the check number if you know it. We can see, for example, that the bill payment that we just processed today was for this bill from 11-23. So let me just look up this bill number. And you can get the bill number from the vendor transaction history as well. So this bill was 53.88. So let me show you how we find the payment associated with this bill from any tab. So let's go back to this print check. And let's just type in the search field 53.88. And you see that that's the bill for Mountain Sports. We click on it. And this is the invoice, which is the same invoice we saw before. If you go to Related Transactions down here, if you click on Related Transactions, you can see that there was a bill payment process on August 28th. 
and the check number associated with this payment is 2177. You can click on it if you want to see more details. If you want to know whether the check was cashed, you can look this information up in your bank reconciliation if the reconciliation is done on a timely basis, daily or weekly, and the client has called you or the vendor has called you after the reconciliation is done. However, if the vendor called you about payment status before the reconciliation has been prepared, you will need someone to look this information up in the banking system. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about any of the features described in the video or need training or support with NetSuite managers or transactions, please contact Business Solution Partners at the email or phone number on the screen. Business Solution Partners is a NetSuite partner and a management and consulting firm specializing in cloud-based system implementations. Their staff members and management team include CPAs and certified solution developers with over 25 years of experience in accounting and system implementation. Visit us at bsbny.com or follow us on Twitter and other social media.